Hey folks, what's up? Um, I promised to make a quick video showing how to solder this um, PCB that comes along with the uh, NPKC um, switch tester we got. Um, I love the idea of having a, the option to add a PCB to that and I think the PCB is very much worth the money. Um, so I finally got it by mail a few days ago and uh, I want to get started. Uh, I already added some keycaps to um, my uh, switch tester. I think this uh, makes it easier to uh, like get it s get some stability when you turn it around. So I'll just I'll flip it over. Um, <coughs> now this is the PCB. This is like the upside of the PCB and up meaning towards the switches. So fortunately there's enough room here to uh, slide it in, like make sure that uh, this uh, USB connector also goes towards the top and um, make sure that all the contacts um, are straight, like um, sticking up straight. Um, when I got mine there were like two or three contacts that didn't properly point up um, and you don't want to bend them like when you place the PCB here you might bend them additionally so now the PCB should be like sitting on the contacts and on those little plastic pins in the middle like in the center of the switches all aligned nicely like, see here ah, this way okay, you can see that it sits on the real nicely. I've heated up my um, soldering station to um, 325 degrees uh, Celsius and um, yeah I've got some uh, very thin um, solder here um, it's got a flux core and it's um, got some lead in there but uh, since I'm a private person I'm allowed to use uh, solder with lead. Well, anyway, just let's get started. So now this is the first pin I'm gonna solder. What I'll do is I'll put the uh, tip of my soldering iron on the pad, let it rest there for a second, wait till the pad is hot enough to melt the solder. So it's usually, it usually takes a moment for the pad to heat up and it's a bad idea to put solder on the tip and then try to make it flow onto the, the pad when it's not hot yet because then you're not going to get the, uh, the flux on it then. Okay. First switch solder. It's a good time to check if we're still pro nicely aligned. So looks like we got nicely aligned there, and it looks like we got a clean, uh, got a clean uh, soldering joint there. Okay. Next thing I'm going to solder is the one of the bottom switches. Make sure that. Um, I got the, the board fixed before I do the, the ones in the center. Head. Just make sure to give it some time. Um, make sure to give the PCB and the, the switch contact some time to warm up properly. And don't apply the solder before it um, melts on the components. Uh, otherwise you might 
apply the solder before the components are hot enough and you definitely want the components to be heated up I think I'm over applying sometimes Adding some solder to the tip of the soldering iron will help uh, transferring the heat from the tip to the PCB and the, the switch contact. I'm not using a some air filtration here, even though you see all all this um, solder flux smoke come up. I try to blow it away a little bit. This usually gives me a headache. It's not really healthy, but um, turning on a fan now is gonna uh, ruin the audio. in a bit too early on that one. The pad doesn't accept the solder yet. You can see the, the solder isn't properly going onto the pad. I might have to redo that one. It's definitely too much solder on that. Turn out very nice, but yeah. I guess I want to see this uh, thing in action, so I'm not going to bother with it. Um, even with all my chatting, uh, this thing's done in less than 10 minutes. Let's have another look. Ah, so much more solid. Thanks very much, guys.